point estimate for a population proportion. Our objective, obtain a point estimate for the population proportion. Let's remind ourselves of a couple of things we already know. We know that when we're dealing with proportions, for the population, we use the letter P, and for the sample, we use P hat, okay? So to distinguish, of course, we, remember, we remind ourselves that the, the parameters are usually Greek letters, but the Greek letter for P is pi, and that gets a bit confused with other mathematics. So we use P for the population proportion, for the parameter, and we use P hat for the sample statistic of the proportion. Okay, we also know that the sample proportion, P hat, is used to estimate the population proportion, P. The sample proportion, P hat, is calculated as follows. P hat is equal to X over N, where X is the number of individuals in the sample with the specified characteristic, and N is the sample size. All right, we, we obviously we need to uh, define point estimate at some point. Let's, let's, let's speak to a couple other things first. We're gonna be dealing with population proportions in the next couple of lectures. So let's make sure we're on the same page. When we're speaking about data using proportions, we're working with data that is qualitative and it has two possible outcomes. So this is a lot of agree, disagree, yes or no type data. Okay, that gives you a proportion. How many, you know, what proportion agree? What, pro what proportion say no, et cetera? So you wanna keep in mind, proportions, we're talking about qualitative data with two possible outcomes. All right, here's an example. Suppose, here's a, uh, a lead-in, I guess. Suppose we want to estimate the proportion of, Amer of adult Americans who believe that the amount they pay in federal taxes is too high. It's, of course, pretty much impossible to ask every adult American, okay? So we're going to use a sample of adult Americans to arrive at an estimate of the population proportion. We call this estimate a point estimate. So come up here and to our objective. Our objective was we wanted to obtain a point estimate. Okay, so what is a point estimate? Let me get my uh, notes clear. Okay, a point estimate is the value of a statistic, which of course comes from a sample, that estimates the value of a parameter, which of course comes from a population. So it's difficult to get the entire proportion of all adult Americans, but we got a sample and we're gonna find the proportion from the sample and we're gonna use that to estimate the proportion for the population. So let's do an example. It's not a particularly hard thing to do. We're gonna make use of this formula right up here. P hat is equal to X over N. And we'll come down and have that written out here. So a poll was conducted in which a simple random sample of 1,000, one, excuse me, 1,015 adult Americans were asked, do you consider the amount of federal income tax you have to pay is too high? Obviously their answers are yes or no. It's not a numerical answer, it's gonna be a yes or no answer. Of the 1,015 adult Americans surveyed, 458 said yes obtain a point estimate for the proportion of adult Americans who believe the amount of federal income tax they pay is too high. Okay, well the point estimate is going to be the proportion from the sample and that we will use that to estimate the value of the proportion of the proportions, excuse me, the population's proportion. So P hat, the sample proportion, is equal to the number of individuals in the sample who said yes, and that's gonna be 458, divided by the total sample size, which is gonna be 1,115. And we put that into a calculator, and we're gonna go out, I'll go out to three decimal places. The proportion who said yes was 
four, five, one. Okay, so let's interpret this. We estimate, and of course we're always estimating in statistics, the proportion of adult Americans who believe the amount of federal income tax they have to pay, the amount, I'll abbreviate amount AMT, I'll abbreviate federal as FVD, federal income tax they have to pay, who believe the amount is too high, Okay, is 0 0.451, which we know if we were to discuss that in a percentage form, that would be 45.1% is our estimate. Okay, so we, had, we used the sample to obtain an estimate called a point estimate for the population proportion. And we say, okay, we used our sample, we estimate the proportion of adult Americans who believe the amount of federal income tax they have to pay is too high is 0.451 point estimate for a for a population proportion